Just start from the bottom. So for this front section, again, we're gonna twist away from her face. Also with these front face framing sections, I am going to put my iron in a little bit lower. So here we go, in. So if you do have a lot of flyaways, and then go ahead and flip back over, perfect. All right, even though school is back in session, those summer beach waves never leave our heart and girls love them for school. So I am going to show you a very quick and easy way to achieve these luscious beach waves with our flat iron. Okay, so the first thing that I've done is prep Madison's hair with a little bit of heat protectant before I section her off. Okay, so when we're gonna start curling with the flat iron, you have two options. You can pre-section this out if you want, or you don't have to use any clips at all. You can leave it down. You can just pull sections that you feel. I personally like to just start from the bottom and this is gonna end up being like three pretty big sections, her nape, her midsection, and her crown. And I'll just clip up this and then I'll work the bottom and then move up to my next section. Okay, so now we are ready to jump into the curls and I wanna talk a little bit about the heat setting. So if someone has a little bit more fragile or damaged hair or if it's bleached out, you wanna set this iron pretty low at the 390. This hair is uncolored, it can stand a little bit more heat. I'm gonna be working through her hair a little bit quicker so I have her temperature set to 420 today. Okay, so I've taken a section and really how big your section is is gonna depend on on your hair texture, so if it's a fine hair or if it's more coarse, and then also the density, so how many strands of hair you have on the head. And you wanna just be able to make sure you can get the iron through the hair nice and smooth. So to begin this curl, I'm gonna take the iron and it's gonna look like a V. I'm gonna be holding it straight up and down. I'm gonna place it in at the base and give it a light squeeze while at the same time starting to rotate the iron. Flip the hair over and then gently pull down. And you don't have to move too fast through this. And then I like to go a little bit faster through the ends. All right, here we go again in our V, straight up, slightly push down and rotate one halfway. And then just pull, pull, pull. And then a little quicker through the ends because those are a little bit more dry. They tend to curl really easy. And so I want them a little bit straighter. So you can see the difference here. This is gonna give us a more curly look. This is gonna give us a little bit straighter, more beachy wave look. Okay, so before I move up to my next section, right now I'm gonna add a light hold hairspray and a little bit of texture spray. That way I can really make sure every curl and wave is getting an even amount of product on it. All right, so now we are in our middle section and I'm going to start on her right side and then work my way to the left. These sections near the face, I like to personally curl away from the face to really open up those cheeks bones for the style. All right, so for this front section, again, we're gonna twist away from her face. Same, V is gonna go straight up and down. Start to clamp down, twist once, hold, pull the iron nice and even and slow and then a little bit quicker at the ends and then you can use your off hand to reinforce that curl a little bit while it sets and cools down now on this next section i'm actually going to curl the opposite direction so that my curls don't start to clump together and it's going to give it more of that natural beachy wave undone look instead of these perfect curls all moving in the same direction so here we go in Rotate once, pull, 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 nice and even and slow, and then a little bit quicker at those ends, and then reinforce that curl, just like that. We're gonna keep rotating around. So because this one went back, this curl went forward, I'm now gonna change directions again, and I'm also gonna rotate to the left again this time. So if you do have a lot of flyaways, one thing you can do even before you curl with the flat iron is you can tame these little flyaways just really quickly. Not You don't have to flat iron it all the way through. You just kind of tame those little flyaways and now we're ready and prepped for the curl. Rotate nice and slow and even till we get to those ends and then a little bit quicker. Oops. 
All right, we're to the last section and I'm gonna work right off of Madison's natural part. With these face framing sections, I'm going to curl away from the face just like the section underneath, but everything else I'm going to alternate my curl pattern. Also with these front face framing sections, I am going to put my iron in a little bit lower because I don't want this first curve of the iron to set in right near the top of her forehead. I want it to be a little bit more natural looking kind of towards the corner of her eyebrow. So instead of starting Starting all the way up here, I'm gonna drop my iron just a little bit, but same concept, rotate, pull nice and evenly and slow. And then as we get to those ends, a little bit quicker. Then I'm gonna reinforce that curl and let it cool naturally. All right, so since I did those first two sections moving backwards, I'm gonna rotate my wrist to the right this time and move this curl going forward. And as you can see, when I collect a section, if I need to gather the hair and kind of smooth it, that's really gonna help it move through the iron a little bit easier. So as you can see, this section needs a little bit of gathering and you can either use your hand or I also really like to use our mini polishing paddle to kind of collect and gather the hair and then go in with my flat iron. If you're getting too many flyaways when you brush it, you can do a little bit of working spray and regather that hair. All right, so we're back near the face. And so I'm going to rotate to my right side, which is going to take it away from Madison's face. In our last section, again, I'm not gonna start right at the top here. I'm going to pull down a little bit near the corner of her eyebrow so that it's not too curly on top rotate away from her face. And because there's not as much hair in these front sections, I can move the iron through a little bit quicker. Okay, so now that it's all done, let's talk about our ends. Now, sometimes you'll have ends that are a little bit straighter. Sometimes you'll have ends that are more curly. So I wanna show you what we can do if that happens and it's a little bit uneven and how we can adjust. So if there's an end that is a little bit too straight, no big deal. We don't need to start from the top again and put that hair through the heat. We can literally just pick up where we left off and kind of run that through one more time just to add a little bit more curl. Now vice versa on the other side, if I was feeling like this was too curly, all I would have to do is take my iron and kind of just pull straight through to straighten that end out. Now I've made the mismatch the opposite way, but it's okay. Again, it's an easy fix. We just pick up where we left off and put that curl back in. All right, again, so if there's too much curl in the end, not a big deal. I'm just gonna come in where I wanna see it a little bit straighter, kind of brush that through and just pull the iron really quickly through the ends and straighten it out. If it's still too curly, just run it one more time really quickly. There, I'm loving that straightness and curl pattern. All right, so even though we are doing beach waves, we really wanna let those curls set and cool for at least 10 minutes if possible. A few moments later. Okay, 10 minutes is up for Madison. So what I'm gonna have her do now, and whether you're doing your own hair, you're just gonna flip yourself forward, or if this is on your client, you're gonna have your client flip forward in the chair. We're gonna throw all the hair forward and I'm going to apply texture spray throughout all of Madison's hair. And try to be quick with this part because you don't want them to get too lightheaded from flipping back over. You can kind of break up these curls with your hand and then go ahead and flip back over. Perfect. And then I'm also going to put a little bit of texture spray in the top section here. Whether you're using texture spray or hairspray or dry shampoo, it's gonna give it a little bit of that like grit and hold and kind of that salty summer beachy hair. All right, there you have it, the summer beach waves with the flat iron. And I really love using a flat iron for this look. It's quick, it's easy. It's just one rotation with your wrist instead of having to maneuver a curling iron in there. And I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe.